I mean, I would go so far as to say this is switchblade quality. Take a look at this. Bama. Look at that. Really nice instant action. Very satisfying to use. Howdy gang, thank you for tuning in. Lovely to have you with us. And if it is your first time watching, please hit subscribe because we are more than happy to welcome you into the Mist Menagerie. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at vape tanks once again, but this time we're gonna to roll together all of our previous examinations of vape tanks to see which are the very best out there. If you take a look at our recent videos, we've had a good long look at some fantastic tanks. We've looked at some of the best MTL tanks, some of the best sub ohm tanks, some of the best tanks for leak proofing, some of the best tanks for flavor, and even the best rebuildable tanks as well. Today, we wanna take a look at all of those categories again and just show you what the very best of the best is. The cream of the coil crop is what we have to serve for you today. So without further ado, let's jump in and take a look at some of the very best vape tanks currently available in 2023. First up, our very favorite mouth to lung vape tank in 2023, and it's a bit of a returning champion for us. I speak, of course, of the Aspire Nautilus 3, an absolute workhorse of MTL satisfaction. Let's talk about downsides first, why not? Because there aren't gonna be many of them. The Nautilus 3 is a little bit wider in its design than some mouth to lake vape tanks. So if you're plugging it onto a very thin battery, might get a little bit of overhang, might be a bit top heavy. It's also, speaking of heavy, got a little bit of weight to it. But you are going to appreciate that weight when you realize just how durable this tank is. It might not be completely shockproof, believe me, if you do drop it and, you know, this bit of glass happens to hit, you know, concrete set of stairs, you're likely to have a little bit of a loss on your hands. But other than that, it is remarkably durable in its construction. Every aspect of it speaks to manufacturing quality. From the super sturdy sliding top fill that requires a real push and never wiggles, ensuring that your e-liquid will stay away from small hands, as well as a really lovely seven different levels of airflow adjustment. But one of my very favorite things about the Nautilus 3 tank is this. It has a coil isolation chamber and I still haven't encountered another vape tank that has this feature. There are lots of vape tanks that are designed in such a way where if you were to say turn it upside down, you can change your coil while you've got a half tank because the liquid isn't gonna spill out of there. But the Nautilus 3 allows you to change the coil with a full tank of liquid without losing a drop. I've not encountered that in any other vape tank. When you unscrew the base section to remove the coil, a couple shutters come down over the wicking holes, ensuring that no liquid is going to escape out of that chimney. A brilliant design ethos, and frankly, it was quite a simple thing to implement, but I still haven't encountered another vape tank that's done the same thing. If you know of one, please let me know in the comments because I would love to see if other manufacturers have attempted this. The Nautilus 3 tank also takes the long beloved Aspire Nautilus coil range, which have homages ranging from one of the highest resistances that you can find, 1.8 ohms, all the way down to a 0.4. So even though we are celebrating this as a mouth to lung vape tank, the 0.4 coils allow you to really engage in some thick liquid, big cloud action and get a sense of what life is like on the cloudier side of things. The Spy Nautilus 3 is my personal favorite mouth to lung tank. I'm still using it on my MTL kits and I simply don't think that you can really do much better when it comes to an MTL tank. A phenomenal piece of work from Aspire who somehow managed to perfectly marry durable, sturdy construction with their classic, elegant steel and glass designs. Beautiful. Up next, we've got our favorite sub ohm vape tank from 2023, and we have gone with the Vaporesso iTank 2, a phenomenal piece of cloudy joy. The iTank 2 has a rather bulky construction to it, maybe slightly more than some other Vaporesso tech, but again, you do appreciate that when you realize that these little overhanging metal sections perfectly ensconce the glass away from impact surfaces. So if this is to fall, it's not going to have the glass smashing directly onto a raised point, which is excellent for those of us who have slight butterfingers like myself. 
The iTank 2 also has, in my opinion, the very best button release refill system I've ever encountered. It's a bit of a new trend, the idea of rather than having an unscrew, very old fashioned, or a sliding top fill to just push a button to be able to refill your e-liquid. Now, usually this means you get a weak little spring just here, you press it and think it just pops up, a little bit fragile, it gets you a little bit nervous because if that goes, you're gonna have to get a whole new tank. But the iTank 2 has, I mean, I would go so far as to say this is switchblade quality. Take a look at this. Bama, look at that. Really nice instant action. Very satisfying to use. The springs and the mechanism are nice and out of view, so nothing's gonna gunk it up, nothing's gonna fray it. It's gonna be really nice and it's got a lovely smooth action to it. Clicks very satisfyingly back into place. And honestly, it's just very kinesthetically pleasing to press this button. I can feel the anticipation and Oh, that feels good. It feels really nice to refill it that way. It's also got a nice sturdy silicone refill port guard here to make sure that no excess liquid ever leaks out the top. It also takes the Vaporesso GTI coil series, which feature morphed mesh interiors and more absorbent cottons for faster liquid soaking and greater coil longevity. So you're gonna find that your coils, you certainly get your money's worth when you're using these ones. It also has an e-liquid self-cleaning system. So any condensed e-liquid that gathers around the glass will go to the bottom and immediately pull straight back into the coil from those uber absorbent cottons. These all come together to make a tank that is more than the sum of its parts. The Vaporesso iTank 2 is a convenient, delicious and cloudy piece of kit that will give any cloud chaser something to really call home about. Next up, we've got our favorite vape tank for flavor in 2023. And we've gone with the Vupu U-Force L tank, an incredibly delicious sub-ohm vape tank. Ordinarily, in our opinion, it's usually MTL tanks that provide the best flavor because they give a more concentrated beam of vapor on the tongue when inhaling them. But Vupu have honestly pulled out all the stops to provide you with the tastiest possible tank in a sub-ohm format. Much of this comes down to the fact that the U-Force L continues to use Vupu's excellent PNP coil system. Available in a wide variety of different homages, the PNP coil system features fantastically absorbent wicks that have zero impurity of flavor in them. So none of your e-liquid will ever be impacted by the cottons that it's absorbing into. It is pure flavor all the way. And the mesh coils on the inside ensure you get a nice even absorption that prevent coil burns. We also have a heat sink design within the tank that again stops your coils from getting burned as you use the tank. This means that your coils not only last as long as possible, but they never stop providing you with the utmost flavor until the natural lifespan of those cottons begins to diminish. You also get complete 360 degree airflow coverage. This is a rare thing in any vape tank besides RDAs and RTAs, to be honest, but you get exactly that kind of airflow functionality with the U-Force L. That 360 degree airflow means that every single part of your coil gets a lovely big whip of air, ensuring that you get nice rounded flavor coverage. It isn't just drawing from one particular place. There are no favored parts of the coil, meaning the coil gets absolutely equal distribution of both absorption and e-liquid atomization, once again ensuring that the coil lasts as long as possible. And if, like many, you do believe that MTL is always going to deliver the best flavors possible, this tank, as I say, takes the PMP coil system, and that means it can fit the PNP TR1 coils, which are 1.2 ohms, making them MTL coils. Whilst it's a little bit chunky to use as an MTL vape tank, and you might find the drip tip a little bit wide, if you are looking to get some nice 50-50 liquid, close up your airways and get a nice concentrated beam of the utmost flavor, you cannot do better than the Vupu U-Force L-Tank, a masterclass of flavor country. 
And how about an Encore? Because in our opinion, the very best leak-proof vape tank of 2023 is also the Vupu U4L. This, in many ways, comes down to its incredible airflow system. One of the very best ways to prevent an e-liquid leak is to take the airflow, which is usually based on the bottom, and stick it up the top. Because e-liquid, like any other liquid in this crazy world of ours, is subject to gravity. And you're gonna find that as long as your tank is being kept in the right position, Gravity isn't going to be an issue because there aren't any outlets for your liquid to escape through from the base. There's only the top airflow ports, and even if your tank was to go upside down for a little while, it's not like there's a direct channel of movement from the tank all the way to the airflow ports. Another excellent thing about these airflows as well is a remarkably silent use. Ordinarily, sub -ohm vaping has a bit of a distinctive hiss to it. Usually you can hear a sub -ohmer before you even see them or smell them coming because it's got that classic <laughs> kind of sound when you inhale. That sounded pretty good. I'll have to hear how that sounded on the mic. But the way that the triple airflow vents are designed on the U-Force L, it dramatically cuts down on the resistance of the air entering the tank whilst it does that 360 degrees of movement. Meaning, whilst it is still slightly louder than an MTL tank, it is remarkably diminished when compared to other big stonking cloud changing pieces of kit. So you're gonna find that this is a remarkably stealthy sub -ohm, as well as being one that keeps your hands nice and clean and gives you that excellent flavor that we were just talking about in the previous section. An incredible tank that you really, really must take a closer look at, the Vupu U-Force L. Next up, we have the very best rebuildable tank of 2023, and we have gone with the Vapors Cloud Dreadnought V2 RTA. RTAs, in many ways, give you the best of both worlds. Many DIY vaping enthusiasts will tell you, you never quite get flavor and clouds quite like you do off of rebuildable, self-made coils. But the downside to this is that you do have to constantly be reapplying liquid, I mean, if you got yourself a squonk pin and a squonk box, that's certainly one solution, but many people get a little bit frustrated with having to frequently reapply their juice, and if they ever forget to do it and fire it up, bam, burnt cottons, very frustrating. An RTA has an e-liquid catchment area, allowing you to fill it up to a TPD compliant two mil capacity, so you can enjoy all that flavor and cloud intensity without having to constantly refill tank. The Dreadnought V2 has a completely removable deck section, which can be taken out from the whole thing, allowing you to put as much work as you want into making your own coils. And the deck has space for two different coils. So you can do one coil builds, you can do two coil builds to get that maximum amount of cloud possible. You've also got 36 different air inlets along this beautiful honeycomb airflow control slider here, which has, just for those of you who enjoy a sensory aspect, one of the most satisfying turns and sounds I've ever experienced from an RTA. I don't know if you can hear this. Oh, that is satisfying. Beautiful. But one of the very best features about the Dreadnought V2 is its remarkable coil compatibility. Because if you remove the actual rebuildable deck section from it, you find that it is suddenly compatible with the original generation of Horizon Tech Falcon coils. Very unusual, we're not sure why that is, but many attest to it being the case. So if you do have this tank on your hands and just give them one day, you simply don't quite have the wherewithal or the materials to make your own coils, you can just get yourself one of the original Falcon coils, pop it in and start using this instantly as a standard sub ohm tank. A remarkable level of versatility that you never really see from any other tank's design. The Vapors Cloud Dreadnought V2 is in our eyes, the very best rebuildable tank because it is remarkably versatile, gives you more working space than anything else and has a completely removable deck a masterclass of DIY design. So here we come to the very end of the very best vape tanks roundup. And you might be able to guess this simply based on how well it did in the previous events today. But the overall winner out of all of these tanks is the Vupu U-Force L tank. 
As we've already said, this is a phenomenal piece of kit. Some of the best flavor you'll ever experience from a standard sub-ohm tank, one of the cleanest leak-proof experiences you'll ever have, silent almost sub-ohm use, and just a beautiful design which really speaks to Vupu's continued innovation in the world of vape design. And continuing to implement the use of the Vupu PMP coils is phenomenal. We love it when we see a brand retain excellent coils that everyone loves. We've seen way too many companies just create way too many coils to keep on top of, and so you just get confused really quickly. <coughs> I don't know. Oh, sorry. Bad cough there. Very bad. But the PMP coil system continues to provide excellent flavor, clouds, and MTL functionality from a tank that should be dedicated DTL. We really can't speak highly enough of the Vupu u 4 cell tank, and we absolutely suggest that you give this one a shot. Mwah, beautiful. Thank you for watching, guys, and we hope that you've enjoyed this roundup of the very best vape tanks of 2023 so far. Please hit subscribe if you haven't already, because we've got a lot more content coming up for you in the coming days. And be sure to check out our shorts if you haven't already, because they cover a few different topics and some educational aspects that might be a little dull in a long form context. We hope that you enjoy it, and please leave us a comment to let us know the kind of thing that you would like to see. Have a great day, guys, and we'll catch you again real soon.